It shouldn't have happened this soon. 3. I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar comet in human history, just became brighter. Not gradually, not predictably, but suddenly. Across multiple observatories, astronomers noticed an unexpected surge in luminosity, a change strong enough to alter its visibility charts overnight. When a comet brightens, it usually means one thing, activity. Gas and dust venting from below the surface as solar energy heats frozen materials. But 3 I Atlas is still far from the sun, too far, according to models, for such a strong reaction. Something inside this object is awakening earlier than physics says it should. As of early November 2025, telescopes in both hemispheres have confirmed the increase, a real, measurable jump in brightness that no one predicted. NASA hasn't issued a formal statement calling this an outburst, but observatories worldwide have prioritized observation schedules. Because when an interstellar visitor suddenly brightens weeks before it should, we need to understand why. The question isn't just academic. This brightness surge could signal fragmentation, could indicate unusual composition, could reveal internal processes we've never observed in any comet before. And whatever's causing it is happening right now, in real time, under the watch of every major telescope that can point toward this ancient traveler from beyond our solar system. Understanding what happened requires understanding how astronomers measure cometary brightness. The magnitude scale, which works backwards where lower numbers mean brighter objects, provides a standardized way to track how much light a comet reflects or emits. For 3 I Atlas, initial predictions suggested it would remain relatively faint throughout its passage, brightening gradually as it approached perihelion in mid-November. The models calculated expected brightness based on distance from the sun, estimated nucleus size, and typical cometary activity patterns. Those predictions held reasonably well through October. Observations matched forecasts within acceptable margins. The comet brightened slowly, predictably, following thermal models that have worked for countless solar system comets. Then, in early November, multiple observatories reported discrepancies. 3I Atlas appeared noticeably brighter than predictions, not by small amounts within measurement uncertainty, by factors significant enough that observers checking their data thought initially they might be looking at the wrong object. Confirmations came rapidly. Telescopes in Chile, Spain, Hawaii, and Australia all reported similar findings independently. The brightness increase was real, measurable, substantial. Photometric analysis quantified the change. 3. I-Atlas had brightened by approximately 1 to 2 magnitudes over just days. That represents an increase in visible light output by factors of 2.5 to 6 times. For an object that had been following predictable thermal curves, this represented a dramatic departure from expectations. The timing makes this particularly puzzling. 3 I Atlas is still approximately 3 astronomical units from the Sunday. At that distance, solar radiation intensity is only about 11% of what Earth receives. Water ice shouldn't sublimate vigorously. Standard cometary activity should be modest. Yet the brightness surge indicates substantial new material being released. More gas, more dust, more reflective surface area in the coma. Something changed inside the comet to trigger this increased activity. Subscribe now, because understanding this brightness surge might reveal processes that operate in interstellar comets, but not in objects native to our solar system. The first explanation scientists proposed involves crossing a compositional threshold. Comets aren't uniform. Their nuclei contain different ices mixed heterogeneously. As solar heating penetrates deeper, it encounters different materials at different depths. Water ice dominates most comets and requires relatively high temperatures to sublimate significantly. But other volatiles like carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and methane sublimate at much lower temperatures. These hypervolatile ices can remain active far from the sun where water stays frozen. Perhaps 3I Atlas nucleus contains layered structure, 
Surface layers composed primarily of dust and less volatile materials act as insulation. Beneath, deposits of carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide, ice weight, protected from direct solar heating. As the comet approached the sun through October, heat conducted slowly through the surface layers. Eventually, that heat reached the subsurface volatile deposits. When temperature crossed the sublimation threshold for those ices, they began transitioning rapidly from solid to gas. The gas built pressure beneath the insulating layer. Eventually, pressure exceeded the layer's structural strength. The layer cracked or ruptured. Gas and dust explosively vented into space. The sudden release created the observed brightness surge. This scenario has precedent. Comet Holmes in 2007 experienced one of history's most dramatic cometary outbursts, brightening by nearly one million times within hours. Post-event analysis suggested that subsurface volatile ice deposits suddenly reached sublimation temperature, triggering catastrophic venting. Could 3i Atlas be experiencing similar processes on smaller scale? The brightness increase isn't as dramatic as Holmes, but the underlying mechanism might be analogous, reaching a compositional threshold where previously dormant materials suddenly activate. But this explanation faces challenges. If carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide drive the activity, spectroscopy should detect these molecules in enhanced quantities. Early spectroscopic observations of the brightening show increased dust, but gas composition measurements remain preliminary. Without confirming the presence of hypervolatile ices in the amounts needed to explain the brightness surge, the compositional threshold hypothesis remains speculative. Another possibility is fragmentation. If a portion of 3I Atlas nucleus broke away, if the comet is beginning to split, that would immediately explain the brightness increase. Fragmentation exposes fresh ice surfaces that haven't been processed by solar radiation. These pristine surfaces sublimate vigorously when suddenly exposed to sunlight. Additionally, the fracture event itself can release trapped gas and dust, creating an impulsive brightening. Cometary fragmentation isn't rare. Numerous comets have split or disintegrated entirely. Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 famously fragmented into over 20 pieces before impacting Jupiter in 1994. Comet Ison disintegrated during its 2013 perihelion passage. Comet Linear broke apart in 2000. The forces causing fragmentation include thermal stress, rotational stress, and tidal forces. As a comet approaches the sun, temperature differentials between sunlit and shadowed regions create expansion and contraction. If the nucleus lacks structural cohesion, these stresses can exceed material strength, causing fractures. Rotation can also stress cometary nuclei. As a body spins, centrifugal forces try to pull material away from the rotation axis. For loosely bound rubble pile structures, rapid rotation can overcome the weak self-gravity holding the nucleus together. Has 3I Atlas fragmented? The evidence is ambiguous. Some high-resolution images show slight elongation or asymmetry in the coma that could indicate separated components. But at its current distance, even the largest telescopes struggle to resolve individual fragments unless they've separated by substantial distances. If fragmentation is occurring, we should see additional signatures, multiple brightness peaks as fragments rotate independently, Spectroscopic differences as different fragments expose different internal compositions. Morphological changes in the coma as multiple active regions develop. Observers are searching for these signatures. Close monitoring over coming days and weeks will reveal whether the brightness surge was a one-time fragmentation event or whether additional splitting continues. Comment below. If 3i Atlas is fragmenting, should that make us more or less excited about studying it? Related to fragmentation but distinct is the possibility that 3i Atlas has unusual structural properties that make it respond to solar heating differently than typical solar system comets. Interstellar objects spent millions of years traveling through the cold of deep space before entering our solar system. 
During that journey, cosmic radiation bombarded their surfaces. Temperatures cycled between the extreme cold of interstellar space and the relative warmth as they approached stars. These conditions could alter material properties. Radiation damage can weaken chemical bonds. Thermal cycling can create internal stresses and fractures. The result might be a nucleus with structural integrity different from comets that formed in and never left our solar system. If 3I Atlas has numerous internal fractures, heat can penetrate more rapidly through cracks and voids. Solar energy reaches subsurface ice deposits faster than in cohesive nuclei. This accelerates sublimation, potentially explaining why activity is stronger than distance from the sun predicts. Additionally, fractured structure might contain trapped gas pockets. Previous perihelion passages, if 3I Atlas has orbited other stars, could have created internal voids where gas accumulated as current solar heating warms the nucleus. Pressure in these voids increases. Eventually, pathways open to the surface. The pressurized gas vents rapidly, creating sudden brightness increases. This explanation predicts that 3I Atlas might show episodic activity. Periods of relative quiescence, interrupted by sudden outbursts, as different internal reservoirs reach critical pressure and vent. If future observations detect additional brightness surges at irregular intervals, structural weakness with trapped volatiles becomes a more compelling explanation. Perhaps no single mechanism explains the brightness surge. Perhaps multiple factors are operating simultaneously, creating behavior more complex than any individual process produces. Consider this scenario. 3I Atlas has porous structure from its interstellar journey. That porosity allows heat to penetrate deeper than in typical comets, reaching carbon dioxide ice deposits. As those deposits sublimate, internal pressure builds. The pressure finds release through structural weaknesses, but the venting creates additional fractures. Those fractures expose more ice surface area. That increased surface area drives more sublimation. The cycle reinforces itself. Additionally, the nucleus might be rotating in ways that concentrate solar heating on regions with particular compositions or structural properties. As those regions activate, outgassing creates torque that alters rotation. Changed rotation brings different regions into sunlight, potentially triggering different activity patterns. And if small fragments are separating, even without catastrophic splitting, the parent nucleus experiences momentum changes from the separation events. Those momentum changes alter how it presents to sunlight, which affects heating patterns, which influences activity. Complex systems with multiple interacting processes can produce behavior that seems disproportionate to any single cause. The brightness surge might emerge from this complexity rather than from one dominant mechanism. This interpretation is scientifically unsatisfying because it's harder to test. Models with multiple free parameters can be adjusted to fit almost any observation. Science prefers simple explanations with clear, testable predictions. But nature doesn't always cooperate with our preference for simplicity. Sometimes reality involves multiple simultaneous processes that we must disentangle through careful observation and analysis. The brightness surge transforms 3I Atlas from a faint telescopic target into something potentially visible to dedicated amateur astronomers with good equipment and dark skies. Before the surge, magnitude predictions place 3I Atlas around magnitude 8 to 9, requiring at least small telescopes to observe. After the surge, it may have brightened to magnitude 6 to 7, approaching naked eye visibility under perfect conditions and definitely visible through binoculars from dark locations. This accessibility matters. Professional astronomers have limited telescope time. They can't monitor comets continuously. Amateur observers worldwide provide crucial complementary coverage, tracking brightness variations, noting outburst events, documenting tail structure. If 3I Atlas continues brightening, if additional outbursts occur, amateur observations will capture details that might occur between scheduled professional observations. This collaborative approach has proven invaluable 
for studying cometary activity. Astrophotographers particularly can contribute. Long exposure images reveal coma structure, jet patterns, tail morphology. Comparing images taken days or hours apart shows how these features evolve. Detecting fragmentation, identifying active regions, tracking dust release, all benefit from extensive imaging campaigns. The brightness surge also enables spectroscopic studies that were previously challenging. Brighter objects allow higher signal-to-noise spectra, revealing molecular species present in smaller quantities. Understanding exactly what gases are being released constrains models of composition and activity mechanisms. Three, IATLAS behavior challenges assumptions about how interstellar comets should behave. We've now observed three confirmed interstellar objects. One I Oumuamua showed no activity and bizarre acceleration. 2. Iborisov behaved conventionally. 3. Iatlas shows activity but with unusual patterns, deceleration, unexpected brightening, possibly fragmentation. 3 visitors. 3 completely different behavioral profiles. This suggests interstellar objects display enormous diversity. They're not a homogeneous population. Formation conditions around different stars with different chemical abundances and radiation environments produce objects with varied properties. As detection capabilities improve, as the Vera Rubin Observatory begins operations and discovers dozens of interstellar visitors per year, we'll build statistical understanding of this population. How common are objects like 3i Atlas? What fractions show unusual activity? How many fragment versus remaining intact? Each object teaches us about stellar systems beyond our own. Each chemical signature reveals formation conditions. Each behavioral anomaly highlights processes we haven't fully characterized. The diversity isn't a problem to be solved. It's information to be cataloged and understood. As I record this, 3i Atlas continues its brightening, continues releasing material at rates higher than models predicted continues demonstrating that visitors from other star systems don't necessarily follow rules written from studying objects that never left our solar system. The explanation will emerge through sustained observation. Spectroscopy will identify what molecules are being released. Imaging will detect whether fragmentation is occurring. Photometry will track whether brightness continues increasing or stabilizes. Modeling will test whether compositional thresholds, structural weaknesses, or combinations of factors best explain observations. This is science in action, encountering unexpected phenomena, proposing explanations, testing those explanations against new data, revising understanding as evidence accumulates. The brightness surge transformed 3i Atlas from a faint object of specialist interest into something accessible to broader astronomical community. If it continues brightening, it might become one of the year's notable cometary displays. Not spectacular like great comets of the past, but visible, accessible, and scientifically valuable. Whatever's causing this awakening, whether compositional thresholds, fragmentation, structural properties, or complex combinations, it's revealing how material from other stellar systems responds when entering our sun's influence. It's showing us that the chemistry, physics, and structural properties we've characterized in local comets don't necessarily generalize to objects formed elsewhere. The comet that shouldn't have brightened yet has brightened anyway. Scientists are racing to explain why. And somewhere in the data being collected right now in spectra, in images, in brightness measurements, the answer is waiting to be found. Comment below. What do you think is causing the unexpected brightening? And subscribe. Because 3 i Atlas is entering its most active phase, observations continue intensifying and will bring you updates as scientists work to solve this mystery about an ancient traveler from beyond our solar system that's coming to life before our telescopes.